Hey there, welcome back once again to Life Princess Size with me, Pallavi. So we're already at the end of September 2021. Can you believe how quickly this year is passing us by? But if you're having a winter wedding, chances are this is going to give you a little bit of anxiety. So that is why we have checklists, things that you can just strike off your to-do list and make yourself feel all the more better about things that you have done and you also have a list for things that you need to do. And that is what we're covering in this video today that if your wedding is let's say three months from today, what are the things that you need to cover in the next one week or 10 days? All right, so before we move ahead, please make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and you subscribe to my channel for everything wedding related and don't miss out on hitting that bell icon so you don't miss out on any content from us. All right, I hope uh, that you have your venue sorted. I hope you have your spouse to be sorted. I hope you have your wedding outfit and jewelry sorted. Even if not fully booked, you at least are on the process of finalizing your main outfit and jewelry. And let's discuss things that you need to do now at the mark of three months to go. The first thing that I would recommend you book right away is your entertainment. So whether you're hiring a band for the big day or you just want to do a DJ or you want to get some exciting dholwala, some LED dholes or whatever you want to do or you want to do a wedding band for the wedding day and you just want to have a DJ for the Sangeet night, whatever it is, sort out your entertainment bookings now because all the good artists are going to get booked up because uh, we're getting a wedding season after a gap of one year and the wedding season this year is much shorter so make sure if you have any specific artist in mind you book them now the second thing on the checklist that you should be getting around to right about now is sending out your save the dates yes you're going to be doing your invitations a bit closer to the actual wedding because you're going to be distributing some sweets or something with that so that typically goes a bit closer to the wedding and this is the perfect time to send save the dates so that people can make their travel bookings people can make their arrangements and they just know that those dates are for you because again like I said because of the shorter wedding season this year there are going to be plenty of overlaps so make sure you send out your save the dates and let people know what dates need to be blocked for your wedding celebrations so the third thing that needs to be booked right around now totally depends on whether you're going down this route or not and that is booking your choreographer so if you're going in for planned choreographed performances for you your spouse your family members then the right time to book your choreographer is now now, especially because like I said it's a short wedding season so like the artists are gonna get booked up quickly so are the good choreographers so if that's something you're keen on get on to it right away and then if you are planning to go in for a pre-wedding shoot you make sure that you start researching your pre-wedding shots right now make your life and your photographers life easy there are so many references available all over the internet so go through them spend that time browsing to really figure out what kind of pre-wedding shoot do you want the first question that any photographer will ask you when you talk to them about a pre-wedding shoot will be like what kind of aesthetic or what kind of vibe are you going in for so the right time is now to research put together some reference shots that you and your spouse are both on board with think about things like including family members or including your pets or whatever you want to do do you want to do it at a destination do you want to do your pre-wedding shoot at a beach do you want to hire some place that requires special permissions all of this takes time thought and planning so get down to it right away and the fifth thing that you need to need to need to do today I would say is get on to planning your honeymoon again this is something that requires so much thought and money so firstly of course I hope you and your partner have discussed what kind of honeymoon you'd like what you'd like to do where you'd like to go how many days etc etc now you need to spend that time looking for deals looking for the best hotel options uh, going through travel blogs watching videos on YouTube to really figure out what kind of a holiday you want to find the visa application processes to find the permissions of that particular country hopefully you've got your vaccination sorted by now if you haven't you need to get on to that right away and there are just so many steps that go into planning that perfect holiday especially if you're working within a budget so you have to start planning your honeymoon right away I hope you get on to these five things 
as soon as you possibly can. It would be great if you've already done some of them. Make sure you tell me in the comments if you've already sorted all these and I'm too late in telling you. Um, I hope this was helpful for you and I'm going to keep coming to you with such videos on things that you need to do and these checkpoints and these to do so that you don't miss out on anything and you have no last minute jitters. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you like this. Give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon too. Thanks.